Snakes are long, legless, carnivorous reptiles belonging to the Serpentis family. Members of the Serpentis subfamily are distinguished by their lack of external ears and eyelids, which are present in legless lizards. Like all snakes, they are ectothermic amniotic vertebrates covered in scales, with the scales arranged in a series of overlapping rows. Many snake species have a skull with more joints than that of their lizard ancestors, which allows them to swallow prey much larger than their heads using highly mobile jaws. In order to fit their narrow bodies, snake organs, such as kidneys, are arranged side by side instead of one on top of the other and most have a single functional lung. Some species have a pair of rudimentary legs, with pelvic spurs, on either side of the cloaca. Snakes can be found in almost every place on Earth, except for Antarctica and most islands. There are 15 families, encompassing 520 genera and more than 3,900 species. Their size range varies from the tiny Leptotoflops carly, which measures only 10 cm in length, to pythons and anacondas that can reach 7.6 meters in length. The recently discovered Titanoboa genus had a fossil that was 15 meters long. It is thought that snakes evolved from both burrowing and aquatic lizards during the Cretaceous period. The diversification of modern snakes occurred during the Paleocene period. Most snakes are non-venomous, and even venomous snakes primarily use their venom to control and kill prey, rather than for defense. Some venomous snakes have venom strong enough to cause painful injuries or death in humans. Non-venomous snakes either swallow their prey alive or kill it by constriction. It can be difficult for amateur snake observers to determine whether a snake is venomous or non-venomous based on appearance, so it is important to either avoid them or approach them with the help of a professional. The fossil record of snakes is relatively weak because snake skeletons are typically small and fragile, making fossilization rare. However, in South America and Africa, Skeletal structures resembling lizards that have yet to be fully uncovered can easily be identified as snakes based on their age of around 150 million years. There is consensus that snakes are descended from lizards based on comparative anatomy. Fossil evidence shows that snakes evolved from burrowing lizards or a similar group during the Cretaceous period. A primitive fossil snake, Najash ryanigrina, was a two-legged burrowing animal with a sacrum and fully terrestrial. A modern equivalent of this hypothetical ancestor, despite being semi-aquatic, is the earless monitor lizard of Borneo, Lanthanotus. Underground forms evolved bodies adapted to burrowing, with developed and lost external limbs. According to this hypothesis, features such as transparent, fused eyelids and the loss of external ears evolved to overcome underground challenges, such as the abrasion of the cornea or the filling of the ears with dirt. Some primitive snakes are known to have had hind extremities, but their pelvis bones are not directly connected to the spine. Hind extremities have been seen in fossil species such as Hoshiphus, Pachyrhachis, and Eupodophus, which are slightly older than Najash. Among modern snakes, primitive groups such as pythons and boas have hind extremities that have lost their function, a pelvic protrusion used for grasping during mating. The Leptotyphlopidae and Typhlopidae are other groups that have remnants of pelvic spurs. These parts sometimes appear as a hard protrusion. Front extremities are not found in any snakes, and the loss of these extremities is related to evolution in the Hox genes that control extremity morphogenesis. The common ancestor of snakes had an axial skeleton that, like most other tetrapods, had regionally specialized structures such as the cervical, neck, thoracic, chest, lumbar, lower back, sacral, pelvic, and caudal, tail, vertebrae. Snakes are vertebrates and generally cannot see beyond 3 meters. They use their tongues, rather than their nostrils, to detect smells. The long, forked tongues pick up chemical odors from the air and ground. When the tongue is drawn in, the odors are converted into a sensory form in the Jacobson's organ on the roof of the mouth. Venomous snakes follow the scent of their prey with their tongues and swallow their prey after finding it dead. The nostrils of snakes are located on the top of the mouth when the mouth is closed, allowing them to breathe with their mouths closed. When swallowing prey, the mouth is open, so the nostrils are disconnected from the airway. At such times, snakes rely on reserve air and air sacs throughout their bodies. 
Most snakes have only one well-developed lung, while the other is almost non-existent. In boas and pythons, the left lung is small. The entrance to the trachea, located on the bottom of the mouth, can be protruded from the mouth when swallowing large prey takes a long time. This feature is an adaptation for eating large animals and allows the snake to breathe even when its mouth is full. It was long believed that snakes were deaf because they don't have external ears. However, they can easily hear the vibrations of the ground that are reflected through the bones in their jaws. A snake with a rattle can even hear the footsteps of a horse coming from a distance. If a person walks through an area where snakes are present, making loud footsteps, they will not encounter any snakes. Some snakes have two small pits between their eyes and nose which detect infrared waves emitted by warm-blooded animals. This allows them to find and track their prey even in the dark. The venom of a snake is a strong digestive fluid that helps dissolve its prey's flesh. Even non-venomous snakes have a strong digestive fluid. When a finger is put in their mouth or they are bitten, they may produce a burning and swelling sensation due to their saliva. Venomous snakes that have their teeth pulled will regrow them. Snakes come in different colors and sizes. It is said that venomous snakes have triangular heads and thick tails, but these cannot be definite indicators. It is important to avoid all snakes as if they were venomous. Snakes reproduce by laying eggs. From the eggs, hatchlings resembling worms emerge. These immediately look around their surroundings. Boas, anacondas, and most pythons give birth to their offspring. This is not real birth. The eggs develop and hatch in the mother's womb, so it appears like birth. This is called oviviviparity. The pregnancy lasts for two months. In Anatolia, the erect hemipenes of snakes that are mating or preparing to mate, due to their bilateral structure, frequently cause the belief snakes have legs to emerge among the people, as they are often mistaken for legs.